Use promo code MATCASTER for 5% off your order at Face to Face Games, Canada's largest Magic the Gathering store. Qualified orders get free shipping Canada wide if you use our promo code MATCASTER at checkout. Whether you're buying singles or sealed product, use our code to support the show and get a discount. Welcome back, everyone, and today we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 most expensive Lord of the Rings cards that you can open up at pre-release, including the extended art and borderless versions of those cards. So let's take a look at this list here today. We have Galadriel of Lothlorien, and this card is currently sitting at $30 for its market price, and its average price right now is $15.94, and the borderless version of this card is currently sitting around the $20 mark, as well as the showcase version, which is the one card with the ring elvish text around the frame. Next up here is Palantir of Orthanc, and this card is currently sitting at $16.72 right now for its market price, and its average price is sitting at just under $16. And the extended art version of this card that you can find in the collector boosters is currently sitting at about $23.72. Saruman of Many Colors, and this card is currently sitting at $23.12 for its market price, and its average price is $17.14. Now, the showcase and borderless versions of this card is currently sitting at about $18 to $23, but I have to say my favorite version is the borderless one, very menacing, and I love the dark rich colors on this card as well. Next up here is Aragorn the Uniter, and this legendary creature is currently sitting at $24.41 for its market price, and its average price is $17.48. And the borderless and showcase versions of the card is currently sitting at about $28 to $21 for their average prices. Gandalf the White, and this card is currently sitting at $24 for its market price, and its average price is $19.29. And the showcase and borderless copies of this card is currently sitting at about $35.90 to $33 for their average prices. Next card here is Spiteful Banditry, and this is a Mythic Enchantment, currently sitting at $23.34 for its market price, and its average price is $21.72, and the borderless copy of this card is currently sitting at $34 for its market price, and its average price is $33.35. We've got the Dark Lord here, Sauron, the Dark Lord, currently sitting at $26.24 for its market price, and its average price is $22.44. And the showcase version of this card is currently sitting at about $21 for its average price. Orcish Bowmasters, this creature is currently sitting at $23.46 for its market price, and its average price is sitting at about $26. Now the borderless version of this card, which has phenomenal artwork, is currently sitting at about $39. Next card here is Glamdring, which is a legendary artifact equipment, currently sitting at $29.80 for its market price, and its average price is $29.38. And the extended art version of this card in the collector booster packs is currently sitting at about $37. And of course, the most expensive card on this list is the One Ring. This legendary artifact is currently sitting at $56.83 for its market price, and its average price is $47.07. And the borderless and extended art versions of this card is currently sitting at about $65 to $53 for their average prices. And that is it for today, just kidding. Of course, I'm going to mention the serialized cards. Now, there is no there's no price that I can find for these at the moment, but I imagine they're going to be very expensive. Now, the rarest of the serialized cards that is not the One Ring is the Elven Soul Ring, so definitely be on the lookout for that. But of course, the most expensive card is the One of One One Ring, and there's been tons of bounties on this card already with people flexing, saying they'll spend 150000 and other game stores will say 500000 Who knows? Maybe this card will go up to a million dollars. In fact, David Adams has already put out a bounty for this card for one million dollars, so this is definitely the most expensive card from the Lord of the Rings set. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comment section below which cards are you most excited to open up at pre-release and which cards are you most excited for in general. I'd love to know your thoughts about that down below in the comment section. And with that being said guys, I'll see you in the next video. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys 
and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.